on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... Ugh, Disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. A the better Jesse. <sighs> and now poor Jesse is dead having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> these tunnels into town. Hey. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... Well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She still scared me, though. She already helped us a lot. The portal buying us time to get up here. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that Heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. Hey, no one is going to end up like Fred. But how do you know? Fred didn't know just how bad Romeo was, so he underestimated him. We can learn from the people who came before us. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. No! My, that was loud. Oh, oh! No! 
guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Exactly. Are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all! It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And... through to him, somehow. You sound a lot more sure than I feel, Jesse. Now, how about you run along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote, eh? Yes, Admin. Uh, Jesse. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now, one less thing to worry about. My... my friends and... my people? They're... isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside, Axel and I almost did. Look, the admin is good, but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled, right? It's a pretty good Jesse impression. I mean, a totally evil version, but... Yeah. But... You said there's a way to stop this guy. Right? Petra! Horrible Estella may be... working for the admin and all. Nobody deserves that. Her whole city... gone. In an instant. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. glad you guys are okay. 
Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Ugh, that'll be payback for what he's done to our poor shop. Huh. Huh. <sighs> Come on, hopefully it's not a complete wash. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. Safer than being out in the open. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Almost forgotten about that stash. Are these elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. Hey, you're pretty legendary yourself, Jack. Just play it cool around him. Right, right, cool. Cool. I, I, I can do cool. Ivor, right? Sup? Yes, I am Ivor. And you are? They call me... The... <coughs> the Stab Walker. Yeah, that's a nickname. Yes! Hi! Hello, strange stab person. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. Fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about me killing you? Big hit! You really know your audience. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. I was surprised, but this animal is quite the escape artist. I may consider naming her my apprentice, though she will need a mask. I'm so sorry that you had to be left behind. It must have been terrible. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. You know about the terminal? What does it actually do? No idea! But you, the other you, spends a great deal of time within it. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, talking out? You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. 
Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Boom. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. Never get backstage without fireworks guild uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go down. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. And the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers. See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great! Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets, because Jesse is the admin! You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Stella. An ocelot? What is that for? Uh -huh. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. I searched everywhere for you! Stop there! I present to you the newest Jesse Khan volunteers! They await your orders. Not the brightest quartet in the bunch, but 
Well, they're golems, so... Huh, let's see. I don't like the look of these. Make them keep an eye on each other. Yes! Yes! How could I ever have assumed they would be ready for responsibility without proper examination? Uh, my apologies. Everyone choose a fellow golem to guard! What? What is happening? I leave for even a moment, and pandemonium ensues. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know what you did. Get back to your posts. <sighs> okay, so, he just pops in whenever he wants to. I better find Stella fast before the admin finds me. Ocelot? What are these for? Stella, wait! Uh, no. Lawrence? Lawrence? I mean, you can totally call me Stella, though. I'm actually looking for Stella. Blonde hair... Looks kind of, well, like you, but but not. Have you seen her? Uh, no clue, bro. Uh, maybe try the order hall? All the bigwig bros hang there doing their bigwig bro business, telling us all what to do. Dude, just unveiled the new statue you built, <laughs> yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it, <laughs> Yeah. You know what? I changed my mind. Let's bring the old one back, shall we? Dude! I can't wait to see it again! Not that, you know, this one wasn't... Like, go with your gut, dude! Especially if it wants the old one back, Yeah. Righteous! Thanks, Jesse, dude! 